there are different styles of music, you know, but there's no reason to assume they can't be blended together. Hello everyone, the release of Lords of the Fallen is upon us just a few more, should I say a couple of more weeks up until the end of October, and it's, I guess it's just it's just one of those games that's just captivated me to talk about it, and I think I might even play it. In the beginning I remember I'd gotten a message from my brother, and he had said, have you heard about this game called Lords of the Fallen? And I was like, no, should I know about it? Then he showed me the very first gameplay video, which was really short. And it didn't really interest me at the time as I was like, nah, there's nothing amazing about it yet. And it felt really half done. Then as time went on and more interviews were conducted and more videos were released, I slowly started to take interest within the game. And not of all the interest was good. Uh, some th sometimes I was interested in the bad things about the game and sometimes I was interested at the good things about the game. But all in all, it's an experience that I think is worth your time. I don't know. You judge that for yourself. So first of all, I'd like to really say that the art style of the game to me personally is someone who, I can't say someone who is good at art, but someone who appreciates art. I would really say the art style is really good. I, it brought me reminiscence of a uh, western style RPG games and uh, art styles such as Joe Madureira's art style when he did Dark uh, Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2, most of his artwork, it's really, this game kind of really brought out that uh, sense of art towards me and it's, it's really welcoming I believe, it makes the game world look a bit more vivid and hyped in a sense, it's, there's nothing too dark to make it scary but there's nothing light-hearted about it either. It makes you feel, I don't know, I guess you could say it makes you feel pumped about the game, that it's gonna be something serious and something cinematic and awesome, of which I hope it will be. I really hope that it will be really captivating and the environments, that's my biggest fear right now, the environments and just how in-depth they'll actually be. I hope that the, the environments are very welcoming, they have lots of secrets enough for it that will give you a lot of replay value and give you a lot of in-depth on the lore of the game which kind of feels very heavy-handed at the current moment really the story kind of feels like it's slapped onto your face like boom take that you have no say as to what the story will become the narrative has been set it looks very cinematic seems very god of war like really i don't know why people keep on saying that the game is a souls clone but i guess i'm just being foolish i understand it's a game it's a rpg it's an action rpg that has a stamina system and once you cross that boundary you will find similarities between lords of the fallen and dark and dark souls but really i don't think it's as much of a soul's clone as people either want it to be hope it to be or what they're saying it is i don't really think it's like a hundred percent soul's clone but on the other side of the coin you could say if they if uh, ci games are copying something why not copy dark souls then because you know you, if you're gonna copy something you might as well copy something that's actually good and do it well let me just give you an example there was once a van helsing game which was a hack and slash and it was on playstation 2 if i remember correctly and i played that game me and a friend and a cousin and at the time i was a teenager and i swear to you it was like those the developers of that game copied devil may cry 2 to the bone they were like we like devil may cry 2 and we are going to remake it under the name van helsing but then we thought to ourselves, like, okay, Van Helsing is an interesting story. Like, there's interesting story and stuff about Van Helsing. But why Devil May Cry 2? Because personally to me, next to Devil May Cry 4, Devil May Cry 2, those two are like the worst games from the Devil May Cry and Capcom uh, studios that have ever been made. Those two were like a shame to the Devil May Cry franchise. And I know someone is probably holding a sniper rifle to their screen wanting to kill me, but that's just the truth. Devil May Cry 2 and Devil May Cry 4 were utter rubbish. But anyway, that's my point. Why copy a game that is not that didn't even do well anyway? So in this case, if they really are copying a game and they are copying Dark Souls 2 on purpose, of which I think they don't, don't and they say themselves that 
they're happy that people think it's similar to Dark Souls, but they're trying something under their own style and under their own developer interests and developer motives and ideals, right? So in that case, at least they're copying something that's actually successful. And the game itself looks playable. It, I haven't seen any big glitches and I'm happy with the animation so far. I could, like, some of the blocking and parry animations seem very rigid and not so well done, but besides that, the attack animations, backstab and repost animations look decent enough. So at least I give them that much. But besides that, I don't know. I think that people shouldn't really approach this game as, let's just say we have finished Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne hasn't been released yet and we need a, a Souls feel in between those two games. They shouldn't think of it like that. This is definitely not going to be a Souls game and I believe that if you think this is a Souls game, you will be disappointed by the time it comes out. But besides that, action RPG, hack and slash, stamina system, lots of equipment and you have classes you can make the main character harken into whatever class you like the different types of magics the different types of weapons i am not sure if there is going to be any ranged combat that is not magic though like a bow a crossbow or a gun i have not seen that personally it could be there and i missed it but who knows but there are different types of melee weapons and different types of magics which is good and lots a plethora of armors you can use which are heavy and light uh, I would assume it has an equip ba a burden system such that if you wear a lot of heavy stuff you move slower even though you have higher resistances and if you wear light you move faster but you can't really take that much of a hit either. That system is there as well. And besides that there are also other, how can I say this, other ways to manipulate the environment. There is uh, trapped wars and holes and stuff that you could actually lure the enemies into falling into besides them actually killing you. So you can manipulate the environment against your opponents and use that to your advantage. And also, they had said that there's something akin to uh, area select. So it's not a hub world similar to what you saw in Dark Souls 1 whereby everything is interlinked. Instead, it's like there's a hub and then you choose where you want to go individually, but those different places are not linked together in any way. So you can throw that thought kind of out the window. I'm not too sure they're a bit vague about it, but that's sim that's what they were talking about in general. And they keep on trying to emphasize that the game will be hard and the game will be challenging. Uh, I really hope it will be because, like I said, the art style really makes the game really serious but not too dark at the same time. It makes you want to explore. It makes you want to say this world is cool and these characters are... Uh, interesting but then it, it's not supposed to shy you away from it's supposed to help you embrace it make you feel a part of this narrative that's going on and uh, I don't know we'll see I hope they do the hard hub world right right now my biggest concern is how they're gonna tell the story through the gameplay because if the gameplay is bad I guarantee you that game will be terrible because it kind of reminds me of Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. This feels like it's happening all over again and it's, it's really making me sad. I was really hyped about uh, Lords of Shadow 2 because it promised so much change from the first Lords of Shadow game and so much fixes on all the bad things and I was really happy about it but then it's like the gameplay they started something good with the combat but then they didn't really pull through and follow through with the, the whole concept that they were going for. And in the end, it kind of just ended up almost getting a little bit too repetitive and, I don't know, it just didn't feel as rewarding as what they promised it will be. So, Lords of the Fallen. I would say Lords of the Fallen is similar to Dark Souls or the Souls franchise, so it's not a Souls game, but it scares me like a Castlevania game. <laughs> I hope they make a good game. I don't know. We'll see in October, guys. I honestly really want to play this game. Whether I'll record it or not, I do not know. But as for you, and you, and yes, you behind there sitting in the corner, we will see late October if nothing is delayed. Check you out soon, and thanks a lot.
get reminded of the way I ought to live by who's unhappy with the life that isn't making any sense. There's so many MCs who they came and then they went. The glory days have washed away as if we're castles made of sand. Or I've had a lot of fun and did a lot of crazy things. And the best is yet to come. Remember who you're fucking with. All the love, the truth of the past.